We lost 4,000 manufacturing jobs in the more, most recent quarterly report. I'm not saying this to try and get the governor. If the governor had held through with this promise of 250,000 jobs, our economy would be a lot better off. If people are working and they're making more money, we'd all be successful. That's not happening. And in the meantime, we are handing out hundreds of millions of dollars in tax breaks that you can't point to the fact that these one of these 11 people have created a new job when they split up $22 million in, in, tax, in, tax, in tax breaks. And these are people making more than $30 million a year. So again, I'm gonna ask one last time, should they have to create, should they be able to show you on paper, I have created a job, as opposed to, well, we've created X amount of jobs, we think it's because of that. I think the tax credit was put into the code to incentivize investments in manufacturing and agriculture, and it has met its objective. So it's a success? Yes. How so? Because we have increased job creation in the state of Wisconsin. How short have we of 250,000 job pledge that the governor gave when he first ran? We have a situation where we have 3.7% unemployment rate. Our biggest um, hurdle right now is making sure we have people who are workforce ready to take the jobs that have been created in this state. So it's Wisconsinites' fault that the governor fell short on his pledge? No. Because we're not ready, obviously. We need to address the really the worker shortage that we have in the state, and we need to make sure that people have the skills that employers are looking for. That is our focus, is on workforce development. So because Wisconsinites aren't skilled enough, it's Wisconsinites' fault that the governor fell short on his 250,000 job pledge. No, that's not what I said. Those are your words. So the governor has fulfilled his promise then? The governor has turned around the state's economy. So the governor has fulfilled his promise then? The governor has turned around the state's economy.